According to our sources, Wolf, you know, this suspect really did a hopscotch around this town from the school into the woods with the teacher's body, then to a local restaurant, even to a local movie theater, all while changing clothes at the same time. The details are really gruesome, and they are not for the faint of heart. As Danvers High School mourns the loss of popular math teacher Colleen Ritzer following her shocking homicide, new details are emerging in the killing. A source close to the investigation tells CNN around 3.30 Tuesday afternoon, her 14-year-old student, Philip Chisholm, allegedly beat and slashed her with a box cutter in a second-floor student restroom. The source says he then stuffed Ritzer's body into a recycling bin, rolled it out of the school, and dumped her body about 20 feet into the woods behind the athletic fields. The bin was found thrown over an embankment approximately 100 feet away. Chisholm allegedly changed clothes, went to a local Wendy's, and then on to the Hollywood Hits movie theater nearby, according to sources familiar with the investigation. Police caught up with Chisholm wandering the streets past midnight in a nearby town. By then, 24-year-old Colleen Ritzer had been reported missing. A combination of statements Chisholm gave to investigators, as well as surveillance tape, helped investigators discover Ritzer's body sometime later, according to the criminal complaint. Just... Kai Silva was a friend and teammate of Philip Chisholm. He was a really nice kid. You know, he had a great smile. Um, of course, you know, he was new town, so he would be, you know, kind of shy, kind of quiet. Silva says when Chisholm didn't show up for soccer practice and a team dinner, he knew something was wrong, but not this wrong. That's what gets to us. He didn't demonstrate any signs, any signs of aggression, any signs towards any teachers. Ritzer's family and friends continue searching for answers. Colleen is a good person. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me why something so terrible would happen to someone who is completely the opposite. She just would never, ever want to hurt anyone. And we are told that the suspect is cooperating with investigators. When last we saw him, it was 24 hours ago when he was in court, but still no plea as of yet. We've reached out to his attorney's wolf. We have not heard back. And of course, the prosecutor is charging him as an adult, and they are seeking to try him as, as an adult as well. They're waiting for a grand jury to convene.